Hello everyone, we're back again. This time I'm gonna show you my haul from the library. So our library, our local library, allows you to go in there and buy movies, books, and games, and audiobooks for a dollar. They allow you to buy them. So I went in there. Sorry, my, my voice is starting to cut out again. Well, so when we when I went in there, they didn't have that much. I got another copy of Atlant uh, Atlantis, The Lost Empire. This movie, for some reason, I can never find it in good shape. I always find them, and they have always like a little bit of scratching on them, but I can never find them without scratches. For some unknown reason. I don't know what this is. A I don't know what they... Re th these ones were reissues or whatnot. They ever reissued this on DVD or not. Got no idea. Please write that down in the comments below. If you know. Because I got no idea. I just saw what it says on Wikipedia. It says that they released, they released it on VHS and DVD. And then later on it was available as a club membership. A Disney club for um on blu-ray so i don't know what this one ever came out to the public to own on blu-ray but somebody please write that down below i really need to know that it says it's funny and it's citing the washington post i thought this was kind of strange it says there's full screen and widescreen on the same disc as you must know is that this is a one disc pressing one disc edition. I don't know if they did a two disc or not, but I noticed the other ones I have, they don't have this big special bonus features thing like this. The other copy I have. They don't have this big printout thing like this, I noticed, so and I, the last, I bought a copy of this. Actually, no, I bought a copy of another one, and it was on VHS. And I took the, because the case was in such horrible shape, and I took the, um, the paper out, and I found mold. There was mold on the other side. And I thought that was kind of odd, because it was a VHS. I'm like, at some point or another, it must have gotten wet. And I just bought it. I literally just purchased it from the Goodwill like a month earlier. And it was mold on the other side. However, though, no. this one and that, that um, Atlantis, The Last Empire kind of goes hand in hand with Treasure Planet. Because Disney was hoping to release a movie to deal with water. You know, like kind of like a treasure, kind of like an islandy type movie. And they kept having failures after failure, it seems like. Because this one right here didn't do so well in theaters. This one didn't do so well. Eventually, they did Finding Nemo in 2003, and that was a huge hit. So, and then I think it was 13 years later, they eventually did a sequel. However, that one wasn't very good at all. It was kind of poor. To me, it didn't seem like it would, should have been a sequel. Seemed like it should have been its own, like they should have done Finding Nemo 2, like in 2005, and then they should have just did Finding Nemo um, 3, like in 2016, or something like that. However, they should have done Finding Dory 2 by now. But this is Treasure Planet. I'm really, I really like these early early Disney movies. I don't like any of the newer ones, really, because they're all focused around Mexicans and or sorts of kinds of weird stuff that nobody likes to talk about. It seemed to me like all the newer ones are getting more racist as they continue on. Like Coco, it's getting more, they're getting more racist, all about Mexicans, Day of the Dead type stuff, and it's just like, just like Enchanto that just came out. I haven't seen that one either, but People are saying the same thing, like it's getting to the point where it's not very good. I noticed that same thing with Moana. It's all about, they're starting to do those more islandy type movies, like more indie, 
it seemed like, but that's Disney for you. So this is what this dish looks like. I noticed when I was looking at this one, when I picked it up and I looked at the other side, I noticed it's quite very thin. I noticed that it's actually quite thin. You see that? I don't know why that is. I wonder if they had it repaired. Because you know what they mean by fixing your disc? It means that they just take the top layer off. That's all they do. I wonder if that's what they did there. So here, I've never seen this before either. Because normally they just put like a little piece of paper in there. And it's just like a thin piece of paper. I don't know if these are reissues or what. Because I know that they reissued all of these on Blu-ray. They have to have been done by that by now. So for the public to own. So these are the bonus features. Keep in mind, I paid a dollar for all these, and I noticed it's kind of odd how it matches full screen and widescreen. You can see the difference. I personally like the full screen because you paid for the television. You would assume that it would be on the full screen, right? The white screen is for what they show in theaters, which I kind of hated that idea. Kind of hard to get back in there. These cases like this one almost remind me of PlayStation cases because the way how the hooks are. I used to I used to go out to the thrift store if I could find PlayStation 2 games cheap enough. And the grid discs was all scratched up. What I'd do is I'd take the disc out and take the artwork out. Throw those away. Take the instruction booklet and post it online. See if anybody would want that. I used to sell those for like 50 cents to a dollar. And, and then I would used to do is I... Because they're stronger cases. They're stronger cases for a reason. They're designed to be stronger, so... It's kind of odd not having a stronger case, but another classic animated feature for the entire family from Fox TV. Yeah. I noticed on the back of this one, it doesn't mention that it has full screen at all. It just mentions widescreen. So I'm wondering if there's another version of this one out there that's a full screen. Somebody needs to write that in the comment section. We need to know. Yeah. Here's Hearts War. It's another MGM fl flick or film. Beyond Courage, Beyond Honor. By the picture there at the bottom, it looks like you're talking about Pearl Harbor. I'm assuming that this is World War II film. I don't know, I've never heard it before, I've never seen this, I didn't even know they made this one. Excellent Amaze of Tension, Spence and Surprise, Today Show. Yeah, I knew it, World War II. They're defeating the Nazis, okay. Doesn't mention anything about Pearl Harbor, but see it... I, the thing about these MGM films is that they eventually released them on standard and widescreen. They were double-sided. Some DVD players can't play them because the way how they're built, the way how they're designed. And this one's an original press from 2002, so it had to be for before December. Soundtracks available on Decca Records. I bet you that's probably a pain to get. I bet you this movie's all oh, it's probably got is classical music and jazz and all that kind of stuff from the 40s. It's probably that's all that's on it. I noticed that sometimes these MGM ones, they come with like a slip in here, like how the Disney ones did at this era during the 2000s. The disc, as you can see, is obviously clear on both sides. There's no artwork. I got no idea why MGM is skipping on artwork there, but 
Now, these are really hard to find. Any Arista home entertainment DVDs are extremely hard to come by right now. This is the first one I think I've ever seen. I've seen a few other ones, but this is like probably like one of the first collection like Grant. Co this is the first Kennedy Grant collection one I've ever seen. I used to own all these on VHS and they went out. They stopped working. I used to own a Philips VCR, by the way, and it used to, um, it would, I don't know, for some reason it would cut the, they would cut the cassette tape on the VHSs. And I didn't find this out until after I rewinded them all that they had cut them all. And that's when I stopped using Philips VCRs because they're junk. Just for that reason. I've never had any good experience with Philips brand anything. So, I, I was looking for this movie just because it has Doris Day in it, and she died three years ago. But I noticed I looked on um, Amazon. All of our movies are extremely damn expensive. They want like 15 bucks here, $20 here. I bet you I could probably get 5 to 10 bucks for this. This from Public Pictures, though. Now, Touch of Mink, so... I just love the styling of this case because the VHS copy I have of this is the same styling. As you can see here, the, the audio is a mono, so you only have one channel. The widescreen version, so. Maybe that's the reason why somebody got rid of this. The reason why I was able to get it so cheap is because it's a widescreen version. Because the VHS version, I think, was widescreen too, which is kind of odd. Two of Hollywood's most beloved stars, Cary Grant and Doris Day, sparkle in a breezy, stylish comedy that's rich with romantic delights. I know this film's from 62, so... In the 50s, when, um... When television started to take over the market, because I know in the 40s it was the radio, in the, um... 30s it was vinyl... Same thing with the 20s and the 10s, but however, when it came into the 50s, it was television. That's what people were all, that's what all everybody was interested in too. So, what these, what these studio companies did was, what the theaters did, I should say studios, to get their films to sell more, um, to be able to make more money in the box office. So what they did was they started releasing them in widescreen during the early 50s. About 53 is when they were all started to do them in widescreen. And that's when they really started pushing forward for that. That's how they got more people into the theaters. Television sales, for some unknown reason, didn't suffer. They didn't really start to suffer. However, though, in the 60s, it was more widescreen. However, this movie is from 62, as you must know, is that Doris Day retired in 73. She ran the Doris Day show for five seasons, 1968 to 73. So, I don't know how good she is at this point, considering that she's an activist too, so. I don't know, I'll have to watch this one to see, but as you must know is that these days, if you want to watch widescreen movies on a TV and full screen, you got to buy a converter. I'll do a video on that later of my, cause I, all these regular, all these DVD players these days, unless you buy like a special one, they're all going to be widescreen playback only. You have to go into the settings and, you know, mess around with them to get them to get the screen type that you want these days. However, I found a, I looked online, there's quite a few, there's a few models that are full screen only. And I thought that was kind of weird. I went to a good, I went to a Goodwill all the way in um, Maryland. I had to travel, of course, like a few hundred miles. I think it was three or four hundred miles I had, we had to drive all the way out to Maryland because they had one there at the Goodwill, and I went to go pick it up. 
and I'll do I'll do a video about that one later, some other time. You know, keep in mind though about about our channel now. We got some good news. We're getting closer. We're getting closer to getting some more videos made. We're getting closer though. We're getting closer because this video is probably might be the last one I ever do. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see next year because I'm supposed to be starting my new job and everything. We'll see. We'll see, but this might be my, my last video for a while. As you must know is that I've been on here, we've been doing this now for five years, and we only have 116 subscribers. That's nothing. I see other people on there, they got, they're, they got, um, there was this one other guy named Zachy Christian. I looked him up on, because he's one of my subscribers now. And I looked at his videos, and keep in mind, everybody that subscribes to me, I look at your um, videos. I see how long they are. And I was kind of shocked because I'm like, there's other people on there that have been around less than I have. And they have more subscribers and they have more views. People aren't obviously watching my videos anymore. So I might have to, I might have to see. It seems to me like people don't really care. All my relatives tell me and say, I tell people at like how it is. I tell people just how things are. Yeah, I am. So. It seems to me like going to the library is cheaper than going to like St. Vinny's or Goodwill. Because Goodwill now, I think nationwide, their DVDs are like two ninety nine each. Nobody can afford that. St. Vinny's DVDs are a dollar and CDs are 50 cents. The ones I've gone to. There's no way. No way Goodwill's going to stay in business for long. So. As always, peace out. Until next time.